By the end of this video, you'll be able to tell whether a number is a prime number or a composite number. We'll look at some examples and get some practice. So let's get started. So first off, one thing you need to know is that zero, zero is not prime or composite. And one, we don't consider that prime or composite either. So just remember zero and one, they're not prime numbers or composite numbers. So let's look at some other numbers. Let's try 11. So for 11, let's check first, is it a prime number? So first off, 11, that's a positive integer. It's a positive whole number and 11 is greater than one. The big question for prime numbers is, are there only two factors, one in itself, one and 11 that divide evenly into 11? So we know that one times 11, that's 11, but are there any other factors that we can divide into 11 evenly? Turns out that there aren't. So there are only one, two factors. That means that 11, that's a prime number. So pause, give this one a try. Is seven a prime or a composite number? It's a positive integer greater than one. And the only factors that divide into seven are one and seven. So seven is a prime number. Let's try another one. Is 27 prime or composite? Pause and give it a try. So it's a positive integer. It's greater than one. And we could say one times 27, that equals 27, but also three times nine. So both three and nine, they go into 27 evenly. So there are more than two factors. There's one, two, three, four factors. That means that 27, it's not a prime number. Is it composite? Positive integer greater than one. And we have those four factors, more than two factors. 27, that's composite. Give this one a try. So first off, whenever you have an even number other than two, any other even number other than two, it's gonna be composite. That's because we have a positive integer, it's greater than one, and we're gonna have more than two factors. We'll always have one times the number itself, but then two times something, since this is an even number. In this case, two times eight, that's 16. So it is going to be a composite number when you have an even number except for two. Note here, four times four, those would be other factors that go into 16. Let's try another one. How about 1,860? Well, it's an even number. There are gonna be more than two factors. So those even numbers other than two, they're gonna be composite. Let's try one that's a little bit more difficult. So for 101, let's see if it's prime or composite. It's a positive integer, it's greater than one. And then we'd have to think about the factors that go into 101. So we know that one times 101, that equals 101. Then we just have to figure out, are there any numbers that go into 101? After a bit of work, you'll find out that there are only two factors that go into 101. And that's what makes it a prime number. It's not composite, even though it's positive greater than one, it's just that we don't have more than two factors. Okay, let's talk about the number two. So for two, you might think that it's an even number, so it should be composite, but let's look at our definition. It is a positive integer, it is greater than one, but there are only two factors, one and two. One times two, that equals two. There aren't any more factors. So it is a prime number. Even though it's positive greater than one, we don't have more than two. So two isn't composite, even though it's an even number. But all the other even numbers, they are composite. So that's how you figure out whether numbers are prime or composite. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.